I don't know if like the shawl is too dramatic or do, do we like the drama? I don't know. Takes every detail and puts it into every single piece that they produce. Yeah, that is waterproof. Look at that. That is definitely waterproof. Hello, my name is Alexis. I am an adaptive power lifter from Pennsylvania and this year's Buff Bunny Model Search winner. I want to dive right into my review and try on haul of the new Space Collection by Buff Bunny Collection that launched on November 10th. And then after or towards the end of the video, I will have more of a discussion. Buff Bunny Space Collection is a lot different than your stereotypical silver metallic space outerwear that you would typically find and what I like about the space lunch is that it incorporates a lot of different elements and colors. I think they did a really good job with a more chic representation of space clothing. The pieces in this launch are definitely more lifestyle pieces and we do see some outerwear with the nice puffer jacket and the vest which emulate more spacesuits like puffy material and I think it is so chic and so let's get started. First up, we have the Double Twist Sports Bra in the color Tea Leaf. This sports bra is made of butter fabric, so it is very stretchy, more stretchy than the Nubri fabric, and it is so soft. It has a double twist design in the back, and the improvements to this bra since its initial launch was that the front straps kind of go into halter top. In the back, these two straps are connected to that halter design. It has that reflective Buff Bunny emblem on the side, and I thought a nice detailed feature about this bra was that those holes there, these are essentially fabric that were sewn together where it really gives a more flattering detail. The front, which is just a simple, literal twist design, this bra is light or minimal support or in compression. And the seams that are tucked in are just so well done where they will be almost seamless. Initially, I thought, okay, these look like really delicate straps. I thought, how supportive will it be? But as you can see, pulling really hard, they are very strong and reinforced. It does have removable cup pads. Initially taking this bra out of the package, I thought this looks pretty small. This is a size medium. I am in between sizes. My measurements are listed below. I did not think it was gonna fit, but it is made of that butter fabric. So it is super stretchy, very like skin-like feel, buttery soft. It has that deep V twist front, the back, that halter top design and I'm going to show you the side profiles. This bra is really nice. It fits very comfortably and it is considered minimal or very light support. So this is a lifestyle bra and it is advertised as so. The butter fabric and you know, the minimal support is just not for me. And for a lifestyle sports bra to lounge around in, I, don't think that the price point is worth it, but if it fits within your budget, go for it. Because it is made of that better fabric, I would advise against uh, wearing it to, you know, high intensity workouts. That could brush up against the better fabric because as you can see here, it does pill. Things that I wish could be different about the bra uh, is a little bit more coverage for your cups. I think if I sized up to a size large, I would have more coverage, but I would have even minimal support. And then, the back straps. As you can see here, they're supposed to lay nice and flat, but when I relax myself, those straps kind of fold up, which I'm not super crazy about. So again, if you can fit this bra within your budget, and if you do want a bra that is super soft and comfortable just for lounging, this bra may be for you, but it's just not doing it for me. It's just not my personal preference. The Harmony Halter Sports Bra in the color Ivory, and this is made of Nubri fabric, so it is stretchy, but it is considered a more medium compression sports bra. Compare it to the Revolution Sports Bra stitch here. It is the same long line length, nice keyhole detail to your bust. It has a crossover chest. The stitching is so well done. It has a dip V for the neckline, so it is high neckline. And then those straps run into wide banded straps in the back, and it has nice gold metal hardware. This elastic band is the same fabric as this elastic band for the support to the backside base of the bra, but it is stitched together here, so that way this won't really move back and forth. In the back of the bra, you have hook to loop closure. And this did come with a bra adjuster, so that way it is really more size adjustable. Stitching is 
reinforced at the bottom to give you a little bit more support bottom band of the bra and that keyhole really has nice subtle soft stitching which i believe won't really dig in or be itchy onto your bust and then it does have removable cup pads and the reflective buff bunny emblem on the side this harmony halter sports bra is gorgeous i'm in love with it so talking about the details again it has that nice opening so that you can show kind of the bottom of your bust it is long lined i matched it with a bodycon skirt because i do want to use this more as a lifestyle piece rather than wearing it to the gym it does have that really nice crossover halter top detailing and in the back i like how thick the straps are because they're going to sit flat and not roll up on you even when you know you you move around and, and you're in the relaxed i like that the uh, bottom band and the cl uh, closure for the bra is pretty wide from this side profile you don't have any like digging into the side i love that buff bunny added this triangle detail to the straps on the base of the bra because it just gives more stability and then it doesn't um rolling over really so it's very flattering the only things that i'm not crazy about for the bra is that the crossover it's you know reinforced material so from the side it kind of pushes your your breasts down but i think that is fine because it does kind of add on to but overall i want to give this bra a 9.5 out of 10. i'm really blown away by the structure the details how flattering it is on a wide back girl i think that this bra is definitely like medium support it has so much give to it that it is large bust friendly and it is small bust friendly I'm so happy with this top. I got this cover from Zara and I've only worn it like once because it, it is kind of dramatic but I really like it with this set. Maybe like this. Maybe like this because it's very you know subtle. Um, let me know in the comments below what y'all think of this set because I'm planning on wearing this out at some point but I don't know if like the shawl is too dramatic or do, do we like the drama? I don't know. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below and then I will wear it out like this. The new Revolve Design Sports Bra, which is a short line sports bra. It is made of that Nubri fabric, light to medium support. It has a very subtle square neckline and two straps that lead into the back. And in the back, those two straps go into a multi crossover detail. One strap makes a large X across your back. The other straps cross over towards, for smaller X's towards the base of the bra. I wanted to compare this to the Aurora sports bra for you guys. The size difference between the Aurora sports bra, bra strap compared to the new Revolve sports bra straps. Whereas the Revolve sports bra strap uh, is not as wide and they do lay flat. Have these tucked in stitch details for the straps so that way they won't itch you. It does have removable cup pads and there is a separation for the bust pads which is nice because these bust pads won't move. But for the Aurora sports bra compared to the Re uh, Revolve sports bra, you can see that the height of both of the back bands are the same. Let's see here, see? I'm really impressed with this bra. It's made of Nubri fabric and it is advertised as light to medium compression, but I definitely think it's more medium compression. Again, I am in between sizes and I decided to go with size medium. The fashion print has so many different um, hues of purples and pinks that the Revolve bra goes really well with it. The two thin straps that lead into a really pretty in the back. Here is the side profile for it. I don't think it really digs into my lats as much as I thought it might with the additional straps. It's pretty comfortable. That bottom stitch on the bra is very comfortable. It doesn't itch. Um, I think it sits really nice and I want to give this bra a solid 10 out of 10. There's nothing that I would change about it. The straps are really comfortable and if one starts to kind of stray away you still have the other one there. That's kind of cute actually. Anyway, highly recommend this bra. If you are in between sizes and have a large 
bust size, I would size up. If you are in between sizes and you have a small bust size like me, I would size down because this is a medium and I am between sizes, but I definitely think that the medium had a little bit more support for me. The Ambrosia Sports Bra in the color white. It is made of that new brief fabric. This bra does have a nice kind of diamond shape detail for the top of your bust. It is high neckline and it is considered a midline sports bra because a elastic band at the bottom. The mesh neckline straps wrap around into the back into a very flattering, very pretty, multi-dimensional design in the back. You have that buff bunny reflective emblem. This mid back panel is made of that new gray fabric and it runs down into a larger base and it also has the mesh material stitched over and it also has elastic on the side. This is a racer back bra. Again, that fabric kind of swoops into the sides of your back for your lats. This bra does not have mid bust stitch um, to separate the bra pads, but removable cup pads. Trying it on, it definitely has a lot of room in it, so I should have sized to a size medium, so I will say that the Ambrosia sports bra should be true to size. Detail for the top of your bust to give you a little bit of a cleavage moment. That mesh material is very stretchy and comfortable. The inner stitching for the connection of the bra to that mesh material is very soft and subtle and it's not uncomfortable as it lays on my chest. From the side profile, it is pretty flattering. I like that the racer back, um, they kept the mesh material here because it is so stretchy. It is going to be, you know, more breathable and a wider racer back detail. I just love all of those lines that you see and how they kind of taper into your lats. Um, I would definitely say this is true to size. I would honestly give this bra a 9.5 out of 10. The only thing that I'm not crazy about is where the neckline gathers here. I wish that the opening was just a little bit bigger, but other than that, I think this is a solid bra, and I would definitely say it is medium support. Highly recommend the Ambrosia Sports Bra. The Ivy Crop Top in the color Avo Green, and this is such a beautiful, rich, dark green, sort of forest green color. The Ivy Crop Top is made of Nubri fabric. Because it is a crop top with no like really thick supportive bra shelf line, it is considered light support that the stitch detailing is kind of tapered in towards the waist. It is a high neckline sort of halter top design, if you will. Top neckline is straight across and the bands that run along the edge of the bra run into these straps that run down and then it has crisscross back detailing and at the very bottom base of the ivy crop top is a straight across band here. It has that reflective buff bunny emblem on the side so there's not like a thick band here that is apparent. It is this fabric covering over it which will be very nice and comfortable. It won't dig into or be itchy on your back and it does have removable cup pads on the side. A subtle built-in bra shelf so you have that stitch detail that separates the bra pads from moving around. And at the bottom of the ivy crop top, there is a bottom seam. Really kind of holds you in place and so it won't roll up when you're working out. I have actually never owned an ivy crop top, so I'm excited to try this out. The first experience that I've had with ivy is the ivy bodysuit. I don't know about y'all, but as a power lifter and going through a lot of changes in my body, I'm really proud to show off my broad shoulders and like my big lats, so this top is definitely doing it for me. Going over some of the details, here's the side profile. It doesn't dig into my lats or my side. It has a beautiful multi crisscross lattice design in the back, a bottom seam on it, light support. I would give this Ivy uh, crop top a 9.5 out of 10. The only reason I'm not giving a 10 out of 10 is because that bottom stitch seam in it, which keeps it in place, but I also feel like it kind of digs into my waist side, which is a good and a bad thing. I think it's good because it kind of tapers you in and gives you the illusion of having more of an hourglass shape. However, I think it does kind of dig into my uh, sides and my back a little bit. The back is just gorgeous and absolutely does it for me. I'll get a little, little shoulder and chest moment there. Okay, I'm done. Honorable mention is the Alpha V2 sports bra, but a more detailed review is in my prior video where the space collection was launched in the color Avo Green, Mocha, brown um, ivory. It has this stitching that runs up to the mid uh, cup, but 
when you stretch it out, you're not gonna have like a nippleage moment. The straps run into a crossover back design. Those two bands in the front separate in the back and give you an X or crossover design. It does have removable cup pads. The Essential Bolero in the color white. This is made of air knit fabric, which is thin, very clingy, buttery soft, super stretchy material. It is made of nylon and spandex blend, a little opaque. It is that Bolero design, so it has a shorter uh, curved front and then a longer uh, opposite curved back and then it runs into a crew high neckline. It is made of that high quality stitching detailing. It does have that buff bunny coin emblem in the stitching of the thumb holes is really nice. Going into the bottom, simple straight across stitching and my measurements are below, but I purchased this in a size extra large in hopes that in the back I would have a little bit more coverage. did want to make sure that I had enough room and that this wouldn't be too tight. It is going to be shorter in length in the back and it is going to be more of a snug tight fit. So the Aranit Bolero actually sits just a tiny bit longer than the Cloud Bolero in the front. This is a really beautiful top. I think it's fashionable. It shows off your sports bra and your fit with adding like an element of, you know, fashion design. It is so soft, super stretchy. It does cover, um, you know, your armpits here from the side profile. You can see there's a tiny bit of opening. And then in the back, I do carry a lot of extra weight and loose skin in my arms from losing a significant amount of weight on my health journey. I'm really glad I ordered two sizes up. I will have to get Give this top a 9 out of 10 because I don't think it's true to size and then also like getting this on the stitching on the bottom seam of this top only gives so much it's not as stretchy as the material itself and I think if it was like a zigzag pattern uh, stitching it would give as you put this on is the cinch waist puffer vest in the color beige. Chevron means like jagged edges or zigzag pattern and I like that the chevron pattern is directed down towards the center of the vest which I think will be very flattering. This is made of nylon and polyester padding. Very lightweight. Pack it into a bag or into your luggage very easily. It is waterproof. It does have a double zipper front. Yeah, that is waterproof. Look at that. That is definitely waterproof, wow. All of the zippers are silver metal hardware. It has zip pockets, little bit of fabric coverage at the top of the pocket zippers. That way you won't just have your zipper or that little bit of opening at the top of the zipper exposed. Zipper panel is not waterproof, but the nylon shell of the vest is. This is a crop fit vest and or a, a bigger neckline, which is fashionable, but also if you were to fold this open, it gives more of a dramatic neckline effect. And I think that sort of reminds me of blazer lapels if you will. You have a simple straight across stitch detail here. It does have a very subtle top seam. As the base shell of the inside of the vest is a different nylon material. Instructions for washing. Buff Bunny just takes every detail and puts it into every single piece that they pr produce. Elastic cinch waistband. This toggle has a etched Buff Bunny and it also has this metal ring band and you can adjust it to whatever size. Pockets are fairly large, a buff bunny embroidered panel, the exposed mesh jacket, and it is more of a pressed rather than the etched uh, or engraved metal hardware on the vest. It's actually really uh, warm. I also, how much room you have in the side, that way it's not all the way up here or digging into to your lats or your back. I have a longer torso. This kind of sits a little bit longer than mid waist, so I do like that. But if you wanted to use the cinch waistbands on the side, you can definitely make this more cater to your height. So for me, I just kind of roll it up just a tiny bit and it's good. But if you're a lot shorter, you can put that even higher um, bust line and then wear it like puffy like that. I don't think I would actually make any adjustments to this vest. This is a medium. I am in between sizes and I have a little bit of room, but for my personal preference, I think I would have liked the large a little bit better. This zipper panel is in place to really protect your clothing from getting snagged on the zipper and then zip that up. If you wanted to wear that up, you could. Why would you have a double zipper? It's fashion, it's for comfortability. So let's say, you just got done with your turkey dinner and you're super stuffed and you're gonna sit down and that fabric is pulling, you're gonna 
zip that and then just comfortably sit. This vest is very high quality. It's luxurious. Buff Bunny Collection is considered a luxury athletic wear brand. This is very high quality. I love all of the detail. So ultimately, I would give this puffer vest a 10 out of 10. I would not make any changes to it. I don't have any suggestions. Well, let me know below too if you think I should size up to a large because the medium does have a little bit of room, but I kind of wish it had a little bit more of a baggier look. Of the Rosa pocket leggings in the color Lotus. These are legacy shorts from the Naked collection. Rosa is considered ultra high versus high. And you can see that the Rosa has this really fine stitch detailing where it's it looks almost delicate, but it's not. It's very reinforced and very strong compared to the Legacy design, which is a more thicker stitched. And the Rosa has a very soft V waistband. Legacy has a slight rounded design to the front. Now looking at the Legacy, we have that iconic tri-arch glute contour seam stitching detail, but on the Rosa, just one single glute contour stick. They both have that reflective Buff Bunny emblem. It does not have a front seam. It does have a double crotch gusset. Pocket stitch detailing tapers off and down towards the bottom, which is flattering. I do have a longer torso, so on me, they do kind of hit right into the middle, mid waist. Are very, very stretchy. Kind of like tapers down towards the bottom, which I think is flattering. And here is the back. Again, only single glute contour detail. <laughs> have the curved legging from the Inner Lights collection, and this is the Alaska Blue. And to my knowledge, has not had any updates in the design or any improvements. And in the Space Collection launch, it launched in the really beautiful colors, terracotta, tea leaf, mocha, and others. Curved legging is a mid-rise legging. It is made of butter fabric. It's a light compression, soft V front. It has these really nice stitching detail curves that taper in at the waist, which will be very flattering, and they curve into the bottom front of the pant leg. No uh, front seam. It has a double crotch gusset. It does not have a top seam. It does have that reflective buff bunny emblem in the back. And then it has a deep V glute contouring detail. The same stitching style compared to the Rosa legging. Glute contour in the back has a little bit more of a rounded shape. The crotch up to the waistband is shorter. So that allows this curve legging to be mid-rise. The nice thing about the butter fabric is because it's so stretchy, you can pull it up and situate it to hit a little bit higher on your waist, but it may pull a little bit more in your crotch area. Not cellulite friendly as it is. For someone with large glutes like myself, that deep V kind of hits in and not so desired area. Oh, the back dips down even more so than the front. I give the curve leggings like an eight out of 10 because the rise is just not made for me. Things are true to size. I think if you were to size up, you know, that would correct one thing with the rise, but it might add too much fabric to the front. If you continuously pull these up, it's gonna give you a camel toe. A larger size still wouldn't really help too much of the, the cellulite. I think that the butter fabric is so soft, so comfortable, but I would really like to see it more in like a tennis skirt or a dress style. No matter what the fabric is, the lighter color you have, the more susceptible that fabric is to being not as squat proof. The darker fabrics and or printed fabrics would definitely be more squat proof. So I think Buff Bunny Collection did a really good job incorporating more of a chic space collection, not your stereotypical metallics, like the outfit that I had on at the beginning of the video, space and galactic elements with the bright purple, with the white, but also earthy and other planet um, color tones. And all of the pieces in this launch were made so beautifully. Everything feels luxurious. Everything is made with such incredible detail. Out of all of the pieces that I reviewed today, the Cinch Waist Pepper Vest is my favorite item. It is so high quality. It is very comfortable. If some of you are watching this review and on the fence about some of the items from the Space Collection launch, um, I hope that I helped you decide and make a definite you know, decision on what items you may purchase. Thanksgiving is around the corner and I have so many things to be thankful for this year. Uh, family, God, my boyfriend, things my work, but also having the Buff Bunny model surge experience. So I want to give thanks to the Buff Bunny collection for really enabling me to do that. Before this year, I 
barely posted on Instagram. I was so afraid of criticism from other people. I didn't think I was interesting enough. I didn't think I would be good at giving reviews. And being able to connect with limb different people like me online to share my adaptive living hacks, my lab equipment and glove handling hacks, my powerlifting or strength training adaptive hacks, and being able to connect with young adults who are going through the same thing and might be suffering from imposter syndrome, thinking they're not good enough or that they don't belong or feeling alienated and having that connection with them, letting them know that they're not alone is something I'm so thankful for. Um, the Buff Bunny collection really pushed me to put my story out there and be able to connect with all these amazing people. <laughs> and I'm thankful to Heidi for still having the Buff Bunny model search. I asked Heidi, why do you still hold a model search? Like, no offense, but you are the standard of beauty in the fitness industry. And you could hire so many beautiful models, like from modeling agency. And Heidi said the model search is not about finding the next face. It is about encouraging women to put themselves out there and to tell their stories because I didn't want my brand to represent every woman, every body. And that means women, you know, who can be uplifting and inspiring to other women and resonate with other women and share their stories, share their, their journey and their struggles. And I think that is so powerful. And I am so thankful to Heidi and the Buff Bunny collection, the entire team for everything they do and providing clothes for everybody. All of their items are launched and available in size extra, extra small, all the way to 3XL. The larger sizes are not a, an additional cost. And I really respect and appreciate that. And I also want to say thank you guys on YouTube for watching this video. Uh, if you made it to the end, I appreciate it. And I'm hoping to expand my page, not only to cover Buff Bunny collection, active wear clothing, but also to really give in-depth reviews on different adaptive clothing and different equipment and I am so excited to the fact that I grew from two followers which were my boyfriend and one of my best friends to 40 followers to me 40 followers is a big deal because I don't like I'm really hard on myself and sometimes the imposter syndrome kicks my ass like the imposter syndrome tells me I'm not good enough I'm not pretty enough and I don't have the you know typical fitness influencer physique to be marketable, to be interesting enough to make these videos. But I'm trying my best to just live freely and put myself out there and connect with more people who resonate with, with how I feel and encourage y'all to just do the same. Like life is short and I really regret not um, putting myself out there, spreading more adaptive powerlifting awareness. I regret not doing that sooner. So I want to thank y'all and Please leave a like, subscribe, comment below on some of your favorite items, the advice that I asked for the different, you know, uh, outfit combos, and um, thank you again. So happy Thanksgiving to everybody. I hope y'all get all the good food, all the good deals that you wanted, and many blessings to you and your families, and I hope you have a very safe holiday season.